Let's watch this, watch this. Watch this. You're a f***ing idiot. Are you trying to kill me? Sorry? Are you trying to kill me? He's the vigilante cyclist waging a war on motorists. Do they look like... Sorry? Were you going to, were you going to get to the red light any quicker? Was I in the door zone? On the streets of Adelaide, holding drivers to account over the new one metre rules. What rule does that come from? But his extreme approach isn't winning any fans. Does that look like a metre to you when you pass me? Some might argue his own riding in the middle of the road when there's a bike lane available might need some changing. Alright, let's watch that. Now watch this. Someone here that's doing this crazy. Here you go. Ah! Then the moment Can Ken thought he was going to die. No, he's jumping on my planet. I smashed my windscreen. Can you stop your car? No, because he, he just jumped. I did stop my car. He jumped on the bonnet. He's just smashed my windscreen and he's fallen off the bonnet. <laughs> uh, so that's had 3,000 views in four years. About three years. And this one's had half a million views in a couple of days. So basically... Uh, the media, mainstream media, it loves to put cyclists against cars, all right? car drivers. Uh, and a lot, most cyclists drive a car as well. All right? I've never had a driver's license, but uh, anyway, let's have a look here. So that was, that was a fucking close pass. Look at that. Look at that. Look, that fucking gap, man, between his fucking hip and her fucking mirror. This dumb bitch is driving an SUV. And this dude's up, you know, like, that's just fucked up. Look at that. He's in risk of getting car doored. And we know what happened to that dude. Remember that Italian backpacker who got car doored in Melbourne? The death of a cyclist knocked under a truck by a motorist opening a car door has reignited the debate about how we share the nation's roads. Alberto Paolon was proud of his new bike. It was his favourite colour and despite mocking from his friends, the 25-year-old Italian chef loved it. Albi was <laughs> such a good person. He was the funniest man I ever met. He always made me laugh and they always find the good things in everything. On Friday, February the 27th at about 4 p.m., Alberto set off for work riding with his fiance, Christina Caneda, along Sydney Road in the inner city Melbourne suburb of Brunswick. And then we just start to ride. Albi told me, watch out the truck. And then I heard a terrible noise, that's all. A car driver had opened her door into Alberto's path. He was knocked under a truck. So I saw him, he was laying on the street, in the middle of the street. And he was just laying there like he was unconscious. And he was looking at me. And I was just screaming, I'll be, no, please, no. And then... You're a f***ing idiot! You're trying to kill me. Sorry? Are you trying to kill me? You didn't come next to me. He's the vigilante. This cyclist is riding a service. A lot of people give this guy shit. This dude's just fucking trying to protect himself, man. He's trying to stay a fucking life for his family. And these dumb motherfuckers in an SUV are coming close to that. Look at that. She's breaking the law. And now she's like, oh, oh, sorry, I didn't even come close to you. Because she didn't think the cyclists would catch up to her. Trying up to. to kill me. trying to kill me. Are you trying to kill me? You did. It's on camera. You didn't come next to me. He's the 
Boom, look, look here, we can see that there's a car parked in the fucking bike lane. Now any time someone can swing that door open, and if that cyclist didn't take the lane, he's at risk of smashing into a car door at 30k an hour. And I'll tell you what, no one's gonna fucking give a fuck. They're gonna go, oh, it shouldn't have been in the bike lane, oh. There's a car parked in the bike lane, so the cyclist has a legal right to move over out of the door zone, and the, that car driver has to give the cyclist one meter because there's an obstruction in the fucking bike lane. So if you don't fucking like it, get off the fucking road. Get on a bike. Does that look like a meter to you when you pass You got some obese fucking toxic person in the car. One person in the car again. If she, if she rode a bike, she wouldn't be fucking obese for long. And this punter, this is the guy he just overtook. And this this guy's just jealous. He got dropped by our cameraman. This is a fucking idiot. Like who the fuck? What was? <laughs> this cyclist in the blue is just a pussy. He would never be involved in any street fight because he's just a pussy. He's picking this. This cyclist is picking on another cyclist. Why is that? Because this cyclist has balls. The the, the cameraman has balls. The other people feel threatened by that, so it's like a crab pulling the other crab back in the pot. And you can see the cameraman's got balls because he he, he he was a goer. He would not be not be as scared to have a, have a punch up if need be. In the middle of the road when there's a bike. So obviously there was some car door action there. So he took the lane. The car behind is getting abusive. So I was like, "Well, fuck you." Then I'll keep taking the lane. Fair enough. And he's going he's going fast enough anyway. You know, like give give the cyclist the but the cyclist is doing the better thing for the environment. All right. And that's that first one we just covered then. So again, he's in the door zone. So I say the cyclist, he's in the right. Uh, you got, there's a cyclist forum. Ad, this is filmed in Adelaide. There's a cyclist forum, Adelaide Cyclist. Uh, I used to be a member of that. Um, it's basically a forum with 99% or 90, 98% Hubbards on there. Just Hubbards who are out of shape, unfit. Couldn't even ride up Norton Summer under 16 minutes. Um, and yet they've been cycling for years. They're experts on cycling, but can't run up Norton Summit in the 16 minutes despite cycling for over 10 years. So we've got these Hubbards out there saying this is wrong, but they're all pussies as well. Uh, they're all fucking pussies. Basically, pussies will give crap to people who are actually getting it done. Um, let's, ha let's have a look at some of the Facebook comments. All right, so we've got the comments on here. Um, Phil Garner writes, precisely why cyclists should be held accountable. He's a bad example for the ones that follow rules. This guy's taking the fucking look at, he's just trying to keep alive. He's just trying to stay alive, mate. It's all about share the road, fair enough. Um, share the road, the fucking, okay, okay, dude. No one's gonna fucking die here but the cyclist. The cyclist is the one that's gonna die. The car drivers will go, oh, it's, oh, someone dented my fucking car, mate, oh shit. You know, this dude obviously doesn't even ride a bike. Um, Bravo the cyclist for filming and posting his encounters, warts and all. While clearly the writer seems arrogant and abusive, it seems the vitriol here is he's not alone. The arguments... Now, this he's not arrogant, man. He's frustrated at how many fucking rednecks are on the fucking road. And he's not abusive. That's words. Someone's fucking coming close to kill him and he's, get, he's, allowed, he's not allowed to use some fucking words? Put yourself in his position and you'll, you'll hear where it's coming from. The beardy talking the video clear did not have to overtake the cyclist to get rid of a lot quicker. Um, the cyclist did need to stay out of the door zone. Exactly. Ride a bike before you could critique someone who's riding a bike. Ride a bike more. Not just, I rode a bike last month. Ride a bike daily. Um, the joke here is in the low house suburban roads with bright lanes of design. They force cyclists into the road. Correct, correct. Um, so I think it's our person's probably had too many bongs because they're up and down. Okay, so this Stuart Hickson writes a good comment. You are deliberately inciting violence against cyclists. It is vindictive and targeted. Motorists are doing the wrong thing. The roads are not just for cars. They are shared infrastructure paid for by all tax pays. Fucking oath, Stuart. Correct. When a viewer runs down a cyclist after watching your program, a life will be lost from your callous disregard. Yeah. You use... I don't know what that word means. Let's just say, you use city language, labelling somebody, looking to protect their life and get home to their family as a vigilante when he's nothing of the sort. Um, so that one's good, that one I like there. Stuart, do well. Uh, let's see what, if there's any rednecks. Okay, the cyclist is riding the outside of a perfectly usable bike lane in the of the video. Yet the motorists are in the wrong for trying to pass him because they, no, no, dude, Abby, look at the video again. 
this dude is risking getting car fucking doored, all right? You're probably one of these girls who like, open, they're like, oh, just, I'm just opening the car door. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Oh my God, you've, your teeth have been smashed out from my car door. Oh, sorry, I'll call you back. I was, I should, what, what's that? Oh, Kylie Jenner. Oh, Kylie got everything in your dog eyes. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I joined an ambulance. Oh, sorry. Oh, look, I've got to talk later. Someone just hit a cyclist. That's the sort of fucking dumb fucks we've got on the roads. Um... When you pay to use the roads and it'll be in the cycling side, everyone's a taxpayer, motherfuckers. Everyone's a taxpayer. So there's plenty of punters on there, rednecks and conscious people, but it just goes to show, man, society ain't getting better. So I give this dude the thumbs up for fucking getting it done, confronting fucking shitty driving, dangerous driving, all these motherfuckers dangerous driving, all right? Like the other day when the motherfucker came close to me, mate, I was ready to fucking do some panel damage. And he he sped at about 130k an hour on a back street to get away from me. Alright? So there's fucking plenty of pussies out there who drive cars who like act all big and strong, top shit on the internet. When it push comes to shove, not many are going to step up. Alright? So remember that as a cyclist, you got to ride assertively, man, because it's your life. Cyclists don't kill people. Car drivers kill people. 